credit card swipe his butt cheeks like you're never getting your boing sucked from me ever again they're just like hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is stephanie Wait, really call me after no i hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is stephanie and today we are back with another dun dun mukbang Woo! i am so sorry that i look super crazy today i'm quite hungover today so that means no fake lashes no effort zero effort zero fucks given right now okay this is just what you see is what you get so today i am doing something that is perfect for hungover days okay really really um and that is instant hot pot i know it's really crazy i'm doing a cookbang how spontaneous stephanie you don't say bitch but i'm doing an instant hot pot mix review slash mukbang i'm so excited because this has been such a huge thing in korea and in china and i was finally able to get my hands on some i went to all the different markets in la couldn't find them anywhere h mart didn't matter couldn't find them i tried to go online a lot of places wouldn't ship to the states but finally a company called yummy buy reached out to me and they sell like literally everything Asian they sell the face masks that I use they sell beauty they sell makeup they sell instant hot pots they sell snacks like my fiance and I went crazy on that website just ordering all of these things from his childhood which at the end of this video I will put in the clips of us eating everything else from yummy Bai. but they sent me these amazing hot pots you guys have to go check out their website I'll link it below I don't make any money if you buy something from them it's not one of those things okay they just sent me some good food and I'm gonna eat it and I have been waiting and dying to try this now I should have picked a day that my fiance is filming with me but he's been really busy lately so I just really needed to eat it and I here I am but the problem is all of the like all of the freaking what do you call them I was gonna call them rules what are they called they're not called rules they're called instructions are in Chinese so okay <laughs> I didn't know what instructions were. So this one is the Heidi Lao Hot Pot. It comes in this black deep container. And then this one is just the red one. So I guess we're just gonna like empty it out. So it comes with this thing. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna like empty everything out. This is my theory. I'm gonna add everything in there, add boiling water. Like how could it go wrong? But it says do not, it, this is a heating bag, not to be eaten. What? Oh my gosh! So they come with a heating bag and you pretty much put it in here and then you add regular temperature water and it'll heat it up for you. But I'm not going to use it because it also says should you eat any of the contents of the heating bag, you immediately vomit back out and need to get medical advice. So you know what? <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> not eat the Tide Pod. I'm just gonna heat my own water and put it in there. I usually don't like to heat water in these like plasticky things, but you know what? Do it for the interweb, Stephanie. Comes in a bag like this. And it is, ooh, it's lotus roots. These like little lotus leaves thing, not leaves, what are these? I don't even know. Ooh, so I just put it all in there. There's seaweed, there's lotus. And then the next thing, this feels like dried and like seasoning -y. Just some noodles, adding in some clear nudes. Muchacha liquidy. Oh, it's like their chili oil and sauce thing. So add that in there. And it's starting to be a party. A party. Ooh. Yes, so. And then it also comes with two more bags. This feels like some more edible stuff. More lotus? Is this entire hot pot just lotus roots? And noodle? Maybe, maybe so. Okay, so I added that in there. It looks really good. I'm wondering maybe I should have put the noodles in last or something, but you know what? Oh my god, I opened this thinking it was food, but it's chopsticks and a toothpick and a spoon. How cute! That's the cutest thing ever. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. This one just comes with a fork. Now this one looks intense because it comes in like a, you see this? Like a kid size lunch thing. And then it has, this one also has a heating bag, which I ain't using. Not today. And then the, this one comes with another bag of like thick noodles. 
that are kind of chopped up. I mean, this is just a lot going on. Here's like tuna, like unrefrigerated, some sort of meat. <laughs> Do you guys see that? I don't know what that is. It's some sort of meat. Okay, it smells meaty. And this was not refrigerated. I'm not gonna die early. <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is great. And then more lotus leaves. What? Or not lotus leaves, like lotus flower things. Like, is that the, maybe that's the only thing that um doesn't have to be refrigerated and like mushrooms and kelp or whatever. I was expecting, honestly, I was expecting like Napa cabbage and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna add the sauce in. Living life on the edge. Bam! Rice. It looks like a shit show. I really should have contacted someone for the instructions. I was gonna say rules. Now I'm gonna grab some hot water. I'll be right back. Do you guys like my pants? Well, I guess I'm just gonna close the lid and call it a day. It sucks because you guys can't see anything. Why is it so dark? Okay, I might need to transfer it into plates. I really wanted to keep this as authentic as possible, like eating out of it, like cup ramen, but it's just not gonna work. Like literally, it just looks like a black hole. This suddenly does not feel like Instant Hot Pot anymore. But here I have the red one on the left and then the black packaging on the right. This seems definitely more vegetable-y, less noodle-y, less food, but let's just try it out. I'm so tired. I'm sorry that I couldn't keep it in like it's instant packaging and like be all cute and act like I was like freaking camping, <laughs> camping. <laughs> and act like I was freaking camping on like Yosemite, Yosemite. <laughs> I can't talk but here we are let's just eat a little bit because I'm hungry I waited for like, in, like 20 minutes for this I'm gonna take a bite mmm oh shit Mmm. With a noodle out. Oh wow. It's spicy. It's got like that numbing chili oil. It's crispy. Okay. I don't know what these are. They have it in both ones. This one I thought was actually going to be not spicy, but it was spicier than this one. Mmm. The rice is so spicy, but I feel like it kind of makes this one. And the noodle. Mmm. So today we're just gonna catch up, okay? I feel like I rarely talk to you guys these days. I've been so busy. And I know most of you guys keep up with me. <laughs> keep up with the Sus. <laughs> keep up with me on my vlog channel, but for those of you guys who don't, my friends Alex and Dan were here. You guys saw the mukbangs with them. to you guys about this has been so like I've been getting DMs about this okay I mentioned in a vlog that I forgot to end a vlog one night I'll link it below this one I'll for sure link because Alex and I and Dan and my fiance got into a fight so I forgot to end the vlog because the night just went a little bit sour And I didn't go into depth, like I didn't go into detail about like who fought who, why we got into a fight. I just kind of left it open and people were freaking out. Mm. Oh my god, it's so spicy. Everyone was DMing me like, why'd you guys fight? Who fought who? Who fought about what? Now let me explain. So my fiance didn't really have time to hang out with Dan and Alex a lot while they were in LA. And that got a bitch triggered, okay? Your girl Stephanie was triggered beyond belief. Like I was just so shook that he couldn't make time for our best friends who flew all the way across the world, you know? So I was already mad at him. 
And then finally, he's like, okay, I can come to dinner. And I was kind of annoyed because he kept saying, like, no, I can't eat dinner. I can't eat dinner with you guys every night. But then suddenly, we were getting Chinese food, and he was like, I'm coming. Right? So I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, is he really just coming for the food? Like, I felt like he was just coming for the food. So he picks us up. He's driving all the way to Chinatown. And the entire time in the car, he's just, like, not really paying attention to us. Like, I'm trying to talk to him. I'm trying to make conversation. He's just, like, bumping to the music. And I'm like, really, dude? Is this pit my ride? Like, what, what the hell are you doing? Like, pay attention to us, you know? And I haven't seen him in, like, five ever either. Ooh, so spicy. Literally, I think like the night before, the night before that, I asked him if he had time to come see me because I was staying with Alex and Dan to come see me because I haven't seen him in days. And then he literally texted me, sorry, I just don't have time. And then like I said, okay, love you. And he never texted me back. So obviously a bitch was angry. So he's driving. I'm plotting his murder. Alex and Dan are kind of whispering in the back seat, and I don't know what they're whispering about. They're just like, S -s 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 -s, right? The music was on, we're on the highway, a lot of background noise, and they're just in the back like, S -s 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 right? And every time I look back, they stop whispering. So I'm like, wow, they're talking shit about us. Like, they're saying like, oh, her fiance doesn't give an F, like her fiance is so rude. So that I just get angrier and angrier, and I'm like, you know what? This boy is being rude. He's rude. So I'm so freaking mad at this point. At this point, like, I was going to cook him in my hot pot. Like, I was just so annoyed. So we get to the hot pot place, and there's, like, a 10-minute wait. Now, during this 10-minute wait, there's an outside area where you sit. They have, like, Connect Four. You guys saw it in one of my vlogs. <gasps> no! Don't eat it, Tiger. It's too spicy. This mukbang is the biggest shit show I've ever had on this channel, and that is saying a lot. And so we're all sitting outside waiting, and my fiancé says he needs to go to the restroom. And I just turned into an Asian mom. The minute that he needs to go visit the restroom... I said, you know what? So do I. Let me go teach him a lesson. He gonna learn today in the bathroom. So on the way to the restroom, we're walking slow in the restaurant, and I'm just going at it. I'm like, dude, who do you think you are? They're visiting from Korea. Blah, 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 being so rude to him. He's like, babe, I didn't even notice. He's like, babe, I'm sorry. Like, I'll be better. Like, I didn't realize. Like, I was just being casual. Like, I was being comfortable with them. And so I'm like, don't do that. Be better. I literally said those words to him. I said, be better. So he's kind of shooketh. He's kind of mad. And I would say we were in the bathroom for like a good 10-15 minutes because we were fighting. And the minute we get outside, Dan and Alex are sitting there and they're still whispering. And I'm like, why are these bitches whispering? Like, shit. Like, are they really talking that much shit about us? I'm getting so freaking mad. I'm getting more mad at my fiance. Like, see? They're still talking about how rude you are. Like, I told you. We go outside. We sit down, and then all of a sudden, Alex is like, I need to go to the restroom. And then she looks at Dan, and she goes, you should go to the restroom. Right? So I'm like, oh, wow, they're going to go talk more shit about us, huh? They, they need a bathroom break from our shit. Like, they're sick of us. They need a break from us. They don't want to be around us, right? So then they walk away into the distance. And here's where a bitch gets traumatized. They walk off. I don't even pay attention to where the hell they're going, okay? At this point, all I see is red. Like right now, I'm seeing red from the spice. But all I saw was red from anger at that time. At that time. <laughs> at that time. And they walk off. And do you guys know the Simon Says game? Where it's like you press a button and it's like boing. And then like it'll say the noise or it'll light it up and you have to like follow it. And it adds a button each time. So it's like boing, beep, bop, boing, boing, beep, bop, beep, bop, boing, boing. Like it was like one of those freaking games. And it's out for the kids to play while you're waiting. And this boy, 
I called him boy because I was so mad at him. My fiance, this boy, is sitting there just boing, beep, bop, beep, bop, boing, boing, beep, bop, beep, bop, boing, boing. And I'm like looking at it like, what the fuck are you doing? And like everyone, like the adults, the kids that were waiting outside are all just staring. And I don't know if they're staring because like, dude, chill out. Or like, dude, what the hell is that? Like, I was just so triggered because it was like, I guess like when you're already mad at someone, every little thing they do is like escalatedly more annoying. That's not even English. But like y'all get the idea. Like, oh my god, those like I just wanted to kill him. And he's just sitting there like acting like nothing happened. Like boing beep up beep up boing boing, you know? And I'm just like, what the hell is wrong with you? So I'm looking at him, I'm staring daggers into him, and I'm like, you better stop. <laughs> And he's, he keeps going, he keeps going. And he's like, why, what's wrong, babe? And I said, don't you see that everybody is staring at us? You better stop. And I gave him like the mom voice. He hates it when I give him the mom voice because he's older than I am. Plus also like, I'm not his mom. But like, you better stop right now, babe. Like, honey, honey. <laughs> there are so many different ways Alex and I say honey. There's like the, honey, I love you. And then there's like a honey, like, where are you? And then there's also like a honey, honey, what I say. <laughs> there's like just so many different ways you could use the word honey, right? So I'm like, honey, honey, honey. And he just won't listen to me. He just boing, beep, up, beep, up, boing, boing, right? And so I am shooting daggers into his face. And the minute I'm about to like raise my voice in public, the minute I'm about to make a scene, what do I see in the distance? Just a little Alex running towards me, just, Ding, boing, boing, beep up, beep up, boing. Like she's just running towards me. And so suddenly I went from like, to like, you know, cause I don't want to like, you know when like you're out with a group of friends and a couple starts fighting, like they make it uncomfortable for everyone. So I did not want to be that couple. Like I wanted to act like everything was okay. And then I was going to beat him up at home. Like, you know what Asian parents do. Like that type of style was my style that night. And so I see her, so I put a smile on my face and she goes, sorry, we didn't find the bathroom. And they were like outside in the mall area. And I was like, wait, why did they even go that way? I was too angry to even realize that they were going the wrong way. And then finally, I was like, oh, the bathroom's in the restaurant. And then she's like, okay. And then I just see Dan like trailing behind her, like looking like he ha also hates life. And at this point, like, you know, when you're so caught up in your own emotions, I'm still thinking like, shit, like Dan's so annoyed. Like Dan is the oldest one out of our group. Like Dan's so annoyed that me and my fiance are being immature. We're fighting in public, you know? Like I thought he was annoyed at us. So they go inside the restaurant. They're, they're doing their thing in the bathroom. I'm still yelling at him. I'm like, babe, honey, you better stop that right now. You better boing stop that or you're never getting your boing sucked from me ever again, okay? I'm getting mad. He stops playing the little Simon Says game and he's just like sitting there looking like a little rejected puppy. Like I hate when they do that. Like when men, they have nothing to say so they just sit there quietly and you're like, well dude, like I'm mad at you for ruining the mood but now you're ruining the mood more, you know? So I was annoyed. So we walk inside and I see Alex and Dan and they're walking from the bathroom and Alex just looks so pissed off. And I'm like, ah, oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Like I knew that they were annoyed with us, right? We sit down and Alex and I are sitting like this. And then Dan and my fiance are sitting like this. So I'm in front of my fiance, Alex is in front of Dan. We sit down and I just assess the table. I look around, Alex looks pissed. I'm pissed. Dan looks like a rejected puppy. My fiance looks like a rejected puppy. And then finally, in my little head of mine, my little brain, it clicked. And I look at Alex and I say, did you yell at Dan in the bathroom? And she goes, did you yell at your fiance in the bathroom? And we both look at each other and we're like, mm -hmm. we just bitched the shit out of them. And we look at them both and they're just looking at each other because we're saying this aloud. They're just looking at each other like, you too, bro, like, save me. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. And then the entire time, they like, we ordered like a million people's worth of food. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my vlog, but it was just stacks of meat because like the hot pot meat comes in these trays and they're stackable. And it was in the middle, so you can't really see like across. They're just hanging out together. And then Alex and I are hanging out together. Like, it was so bad. Like, it was one of the worst fights that I've gotten into like out in public. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Alex? Alex and Dan are incredibly good 
at putting their credit card down to pay the bill at restaurants. They're quick, they're aggressive, they're very like dance, like look at my muscle, and then just like throws the card at the waiter, and then like the waiter won't take my card, okay? So today, or at the hot pot place, my fiance and I are like, we are treating them out for sure because it's like, it's also like, I don't know, like I feel like whenever I go somewhere to like a Chinese place with a bunch of Koreans, I feel like my fiance likes to pay because he's like treating them out to his culture, you know? As if like if I were bringing a lot of my Chinese friends to a Korean restaurant, I would treat them out, you know? So definitely I wanted to treat them out to hot pot. I act like it's my money. <laughs> Like I had gotten up from the table and I found our waiter and he mainly only speaks Mandarin, like Chinese. And so I asked him like in English, like, can I get the check? Like I was whispering because like I wanted to make sure Dan and Alex didn't realize what I was doing. And he goes, yeah, 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 I'll give you the check. I'll give you the check. And I was like, what? Like, can I put my card down now? And he goes, yeah, 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 I'll bring you the check. And he's like rushing me. And so I'm like, maybe he's busy. Maybe he needs to help another table. I don't know, right? So I just have like my card ready. Once he like comes with the check, I was gonna like slip it in his pocket. I don't know, slip it in his butt crack, like credit card swipe his butt cheeks. Like I just knew that I wanted to pay. Like my fiance and I were gonna pay. So he comes to the table and he brings the check. <laughs> but there's already a credit card sticking out of it. And so I'm like, what? Like who put their credit card down? And he hands it to my fiance. So I'm like, oh, okay, thank God. Like my fiance was smart enough to like pretend to go to use the bathroom, the goddamn bathroom at the hot pot place where so many memories were created and put his card down. So I was like, okay, good one, good one. You get brownie points, okay? So then <laughs> I'm thinking like that's gonna be it. Like, okay, like my fiance paid, good. That's what we planned for. But then this, the server, hey. But then the server just starts speaking to him, like almost screaming at him in Mandarin. And so we're like, oh my gosh. And at one point I was like, wow, his card must have gotten declined because why is this guy so angry? Like our card was declined. Ma'am, your card was declined. Like I thought it was gonna be something like that because he just kept saying something in Mandarin, like very like, <gasps> like, oh my gosh. And then we're all just sitting there, like us three don't understand any Mandarin. So we're just like, <gasps> what's happening, right? And then my fiance just keeps going, okay, 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 okay. Like, he's just like, okay, got it, got it. Okay, I got it, you know? So I'm like, what's happening? Like, I'm starting to freak out a little bit. And I look at my fiance, the waiter that goes away. My fiance looks at us and he goes, that guy was freaking out that you were trying to pay. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then he's like, he kept telling me, like, because at one point he started pointing at me and then he's like, that girl tried to pay for the check. That girl tried to pay for it. That girl right there, sitting right there, she tried to pay, but I said no. That girl tried to pay. And he, like my fiance said, he kept referring to me as like that girl, as if I was some stranger trying to pay for the table. Like just a rando, like not someone who like is friends with everyone. He just kept saying like that girl right there. And he was like pointing at me at one point and we were just like, what the heck? So he was like aggressively protective. I feel like it's also like a we stick together type of thing, you know? Because what I remember is I took my fiance's family out to a Korean restaurant and I had left my card at the front too and they ran my card but his mom stood up and kept trying to push the server her credit card and the Korean, like she's an ajuma, she's an older woman, grabs my in-law's card, throws it on the table and goes, this Korean style and walks away. But then like Alex and I now have a running joke that it's just us two against men. And then you know how in Black Panther, if you guys haven't seen it already, this isn't like a spoiler. They do this thing called like Wakanda forever, which is like Wakanda is like the country they're from. But then like Alex always butchers it and she says Uganda forever. And I'm pretty sure Uganda is like an actual country. And I'm just like, wait, what? And then she's like, you know, Uganda, Black Panther, forever. And she's like, Uganda forever. And I'm like, it's not Uganda, it's Wakanda. So every time I'm yelling at my fiance, she goes, Uganda forever. And I'm like, dude, it's not Uganda. Oh gosh. I love you guys. I think that's going to be it for today's video. See you in the next video.
And then here are the snacks that I got from Yami Bai. If you guys don't really like watching like testing food and you guys like more mukbangs, then that's probably the end of the video for you guys. But I filmed this way before I filmed the mukbang, so that might explain why I look a little bit better and a little bit less hungover in this part of the video. But I hope you guys enjoy. I love you. So we got a bunch of stuff from Yami Bai, which is a company that specializes in Asian goods, but not just food. But knowing me, I went in there and went balls deep into the food section. But they have like snacks, like food, like ramen, they have Korean beauty, Japanese beauty, Chinese beauty, they even have like kitchenware, like pots, pans and sh stuff like that. So I went ahead and asked my fiance to pick all of his favorite Chinese mainly snacks. So these are going to be snacks that I've never tried before and we're going to try them. We even have some actual food in here, but I'm debating if that should be like an actual mukbang mukbang or if I'm gonna do it in today's video. We'll see, but first, I really wanna try these snacks because they have been staring at me for a week straight, guys. I'm not even kidding. So, I guess let's get started. I will say this, though. They sent me these wafer crackers that are I like Italian. Them. Oh, you picked them? I picked them. So, he picked <laughs> these Italian wafer crackers that I'm very into. I will say that I opened it and consumed like 90% of it. So, really? Yeah, Let there's that. Some. So good. They're like these little mini wafers. It's called wafers? Mm -hmm. I used to eat stuff like this when I was growing up. Like every day. Very good. So good. Hazelnut. Okay. Hit me with your best stuff, babe. To be honest, a lot of these I don't even know what they are. What? This one is Lonely God. Lonely God? Lonely God. Do so you want me to open this? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at that. Like, kind of like chives, yeah. It looks, from the viewfinder, it looks like popcorn or something. Oh, what? It's kind of like those shrimp chips. It's like a spiral. Yeah, I have this. I had this. Have you had this before? Mmm. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like shrimp chips, no? Have you had Korean korebap whale food? No. It tastes just like the Korean whale food, which, by the way, guys. What is whale food? It's bringing back so many memories for me. You feed whales with it? Ooh, it's long and brown. <laughs> that does not sound appetizing. How does it taste? It's kind of sweet. It's like an Asian churro. Mm. Right? Mm. Mm-hmm. How's, how are these compared to the ones that you've had? Because it's really high in calorie, guys. How much calorie? This entire bag is like 1,200 calories. Is that a lot? That's a lot for like this. Well, we're at 2,400 <laughs> calories now. So this it's, bottle? it's a, it's like a red tea. Okay. Is it? No, no what, not red tea. What I is it? Dark tea? It. Black tea? Black tea. Okay. So it's like a black tea flavored drink. Is it good? It's in your, I feel like it's in your alley. It's good? It's good. Can you slow down on the eating? <clears throat> Seriously, you're just too busy, okay? Okay, okay, Anyways. next. Okay, let's close these and put them aside. Okay, hit me with your next one. Okay, next one. You know he used to live in an area where he would like, didn't you say it would Ooh. flood? So he would, what would your parents do? Put you in a boat? No. <laughs> Are we really sharing that story right now? <laughs> Wait, we're reminiscing about your childhood. Just tell us. That's very, very, very childhood, okay? This tell is, me. So they would throw me into like those bathtubs. <laughs> when you're a baby, so you basically throw like, Basically, you take a bucket and throw a baby in there and shower them. Take a bath in that little bucket. And then we'll put that bucket up and he will put me in the bucket and I'll pretend I'm in a boat, you know, when, when it's flooding. So I will be <laughs> sailing in the bathtub, I guess, if that's what you want to know. I've always wanted my house to flood. You always? I know that sounds really insensitive. No, when I was younger. Obviously not now. I understand flooding like ruins houses and like all the hurricanes. I get it. But when I was younger, I used to love being in water that I would want my house to flood so that I could sit on my bed and dangle my feet into the water. Never had this, but it looks so good. 
Touch it. Just touch it first. Whoa. What does it t feel like? Oh, it's like squishy. It's like alive. It's not alive. It remind. It's kind of like a fish jerky. Okay, hit right? me with it. Ah. That looks so good. Even the packaging packaging looks so clean, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. What? Look at this. <laughs> Wait, what? More packaging. Oh my gosh! But this is really cute, no? Yeah. Let's just open one. It's so fancy every time I open Wait, a package. Wait, I feel like it's wet. Sure, it's, it doesn't feel like jerky, babe. It feels like wet. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, it's, it has oils. It has spicy chili oil. Do you want to share one? Oh, so this guy's wearing a leather jacket right now. Why? What's wrong with that? With no okay, pants. Okay, alright, anyways. <laughs> Stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that looks kind of weird. Can they see this? Yo. <laughs> How are you even ew? <laughs> Is it fishy? So, describe the, the texture. <laughs> okay. You know what it, this reminds me of? What tripe. Is? Have you guys yes. had tripe? Yes. Like the intestines? <laughs> So, here. This it's like good, that, right? but in a numbing, like, hot pot sauce. This literally tastes like Hai Di Lao. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. It has that chili oil, mm -hmm. um, like, hot pot flavor. This is really good. I like this. Do you like it? I feel I, like I'm going to kill this bag. I'm kind of hungry, so. I mean. It's good. The flavor is good, but the consistently throws me off so hard right now. The, the. I can't open it. Let me try this one more time. It started to grow on you, huh? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it comes with the very cute packaging. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least we know which one she likes the most. <laughs> That's racist. Wait, why? You're no, literally... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna like this because mm. you love seaweed. I love it. Holy shit. You love it? Oh my god. It has a seaweed flavor, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like I ate the ocean, the Pacific Ocean in my mouth right now. Okay. So it's like a plastic tube. And then there's these little beads inside. Okay? And as you shake it, it makes this noise. Which is really intense, doesn't it? Sounds like a, what is it? Like an instrument? Like a tambourine? It's called hua hua dan. Whatever that means, I, I don't know what it means. So what's so cool about it is that we always, I always love like the packaging of this because here, it, there's a thing that you basically pop it open. So it opens like this and then you can close it. You know, Have so you never seen like a Tic Tac? <laughs> Right. It this is like Tic Tac. Yes. Okay. You're right. I love how you like But when I was a kid, this is like the coolest because you kinda just like pop it open like a lighter, you know? Like the little things make him so happy sometimes. Like what the heck dude? It looks like my um Chinese herbal medicine. I know. <laughs> it looks like the only one. Okay. <laughs> Describe. Like, I went to my mom's house. Uh huh. I went to her basement. Uh huh. And I was cleaning, right? Uh huh. And I found these on the ground, and they were covered <laughs> in dust. And I'm like this, like five year old, and I'm like, mm. and I'm like, whoa, what's that? <laughs> it's like a super expired, like Mentos, like I don't know, like a sweet tart. Did you bite into it? Yeah. You kind of have the, like, kind of a little bit of. Cake. You don't like it? I hate this. I'm sorry. Yeah. It won't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked these when I was a kid, but it's so common that people you always kind of have these around, you know. Um, but today, now I taste that. Like now, I'm tasting this again. Yeah. It kind of tastes like rat's poop. <laughs> Memories. Wow. Oh my god, it looks like marinated spam. You want to take a bite? Here, you want me to tear it? 
No, I just bite. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Will look you at show that. Them? Oh, okay. So, okay, I think I know what this is now. Oh, I love these. Oh my god. Memories. What does it taste like? Why does everything taste like a hot pot to me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had these. I have these growing up. I wasn't a huge fan of it growing up, but it's good to try something from your childhood, you know? So basically, it comes with individ individual package. So these are kind of... Um, they're very soft. It looks like a... Kind of like a weird Rice Krispie treat. Yes, but a soft one. Soft, sticky one. What do you think? Not a fan? <laughs> What's the matter? It tastes like mm -hmm. when I leave my scrambled eggs on the stove for too long. What? Yeah. It's like overcooked scrambled eggs, but a weird texture. You know, I guess I can taste the egg. Yeah, I gotta brush my teeth. <laughs> so I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of reminiscing through my fiance's childhood through food. <laughs> That's it! I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video!